What's up, everybody? You got Yanks and Beans coming at you with his first box break in a long time. And I'm going to do my best to make this as quick as possible, even though we got ourselves 24 packs of the brand new 2011 Topps Gypsy Queen. Before I bust into it, I want to show you the new break spot. You are in Yanks and Beans Yankee Man Cave. And this is my new house, my new office, and uh, here's where we're at. So that's where we're breaking from now on, and I'll show you. Here's just some of the cards I have on display. My Yankee infield. And this is the man cave where I spend a lot of my time, me and the Yog and Goose, who is my pal. And then of course we have the baseball diamond and uh, the armoire of cards pretty much is what we have in there. So welcome to my abode. And uh, we're gonna start off the day real quick with a break of 2011 Bronx um, and this is the uh, the Hidden Treasures autograph ball because I have a new ball for the uh, the collection here's the card, I don't want to look at that, I want to see if I can tell the auto from the ball some good names in here and we're looking to add something to the uh, to the collection on the wall and it is Ah, good one. Mr. Whitey Ford. Right? If I got that wrong, then I'm crazy, but... Sure enough, Whitey Ford. Nice! Whitey Ford's a good one! Got this box from my buddy Don at DCS Sports Cards. I think they're going for about 65 70 bucks. I had planned on going to meet Whitey at a signing in person a few weeks from now. And uh, they were charging 70 So I saved 5 bucks and I get my afternoon back because I got a Whitey signed ball. And I don't have to buy a ball. Let's get to the reason we came, the uh, 2011. This box is big. This box is heavy. 24 packs, 10 cards per pack. I want to say you're getting your money worth. And I guess we're going to find out. The truth is, is, I don't know what's in here. I have not been following the hits, so I don't know what to expect, which for the first time is kind of cool. This way I don't know if I get shorted. I don't know what's happening. I do know that it comes with this really sweet 10-card mini top loader in a box. I don't know if there's anything special in here. I know it looks like a box of those little candy cigarettes that you used to get, which is pretty sweet. So let's bust in to some 2011 Gypsy Queen. Again, 24 packs, 10 cards per pack. I think there's a mini in every one. I don't know. I'm hope I don't know how many hits there are. I hope I don't bust them early, but there's something in there that's a little thick, so we'll save that for the end. I'm going to pull this to the front with a Mike Stanton Future Star. So the blue is, I'm guessing, the rookies. Um, it's a Gypsy Queen back, and I don't know the short prints. I don't know how well that's going to go. I guess we'll find out. But roll this Chapman. Um, the design is pretty nice. You know what? You guys can't really see that that well. Hold on. Let me prop you a little bit. How is that? Is that better? That might be a dummy card in there. So this is a, a Topps throwback product. Um, Trayback, Andre Heath here. I'm going to try to bust through. Okay, so look at this. It's a brown or a gold or, or a copper. I bet they're going to call that bronze. A bronze bordered Hunter Pence numbered 75 to 999. Somebody on Twitter collects pens, and I don't remember who it is, but whoever you are, sir, say hello to me, and uh, I'll be happy to send that one your way. My mini in this pack, anyway, is a Jason Kubel. Mini with a Gypsy Queen. This white card, by the way, was indeed a dummy, not a hit. So now we get an idea of what's going on. We have a lot to open. So let's go. Let's go quick. When I, uh... Jason Hayward. No longer future star. Tony Gwynn. Johnny Cueto, Carl Pavano with a stash, Derek Lee, all painted looking cards, I don't know if these are real shots made to be painted, it looks like what they are, uh, design is nice, it's got that thick cardboard feel, and a Christy Mathewson mini, and check this out, this is, alright, let's find the other mini, so this is a, a Gypsy Queen back, but this one, is a Gypsy Queen bronze short print, and that's 46 of 99. So that's a nice, 
Mini. This thing has minis galore, and mini collectors are going to be very excited about this. And here's your future star. Maybe uh, Trevor Cahill. Maybe one in every pack? I guess we're going to find out. And dummies. So if I send you anything, you're going to get these guys. Back in 2009, one of my favorite products ever was the uh, Goodwin Champions. And Goodwin had minis. Uh, and the minis had variations called Gypsy Queen. And I'll never forget... I'm watching some dude do it, uh, some kid, some little kid. He's doing a box break online, and uh, he's he pulls like a mini with a Gypsy Queen back variation, and he couldn't pronounce Gypsy Queen. He kept calling it Gypsy Queen. All right, check it out, folks. Here we are, Evan Lagoria, another copper or bronze, and it looks like that's number to nine ninety nine as well. The mini is Kadire. The dummy. And Matt Latos is the future star. So, so far looking like a future star per, per uh, pack. So the kid, he kept calling Gypsy Queen. He kept saying, Gypsy Quine. Gypsy Quine. And it was annoying the hell out of me, but it always stuck with me. So, welcome to my box break of 2011 tops, Gypsy Quine. It's Gypsy Quine. Vlad Guerrero and O's. Oh, I guess there's a Hall of Famers who show Al Kaline, Red Show and Dice. There's Jim Palmer. There's the Show and Dice. So, a uh, mix of... Uh, Rookies, new guys, pros, legends, and Russell Martin in a Yankee outfit. Looking good. Dan Heron, Natalie Feliz, cruising no hits yet. And Andre Dawson, Gypsy Queen. Now this one is a red back, so I don't know what the backs are. It's actually got a picture of a queen on it. Um, maybe that is the Gypsy Queen herself. And uh, Brett Anderson to back us up. So the first pack without a future star, disproving my future star per pack theory. Um, these boxes are a little more expensive than there's a Ty Cobb. It's just a cool, classic-looking card, CC. Um, a little more expensive than the Allen and Ginter, which is due out soon. And uh, we got a hit in this one. Reggie Jackson, great Reggie picture. And um, I'm hoping you get as many, if not more, hits, or else I don't know if this is worth the price. Raleigh Fingers, minis. Minis are really cool looking in this. And here's our first, not a hit. I'm totally wrong. I thought it was a framed card. Um, all it is is a Johnny Mice. And the uh, it's a parallel, and it's titled The Great Ones. So uh, no number on the back. A Great Ones, Johnny Mice, and a checklist, which we'll keep to the side to check out later. Okay. Boring is it to watch this? Should I do a recap? Nah, you gotta watch it this time. Nolan Ryan, Johnny Mize, Bernard Bosch, Miguel Cabrera. I'm cruising. I hope you guys are cool with that. There he is. Oh, really? In a Red Sox? Not a fan of when they do that. Okay, a couple things in this one. First, we have the Babe Ruth Mini in the Red Sox uniform. Nothing special going on in the back. Followed up by the Robbie Cano bat card. And uh, I know a lovely lady that would like that card. As a Yank fan, I might keep it, but if she's good to me, we can see what we can do about that. But uh, really nice. Nice pose on the uh, on the Cano. So our first hit is the Cano uh, relic with the Jose. Is it Jose Tabata? It's Jose Tabata uh, of the Pirates is our future star. The Gypsy Queen in the Man Cave. This is like the greatest. Pee Wee Reese to star. Josh Hamilton. There's the Hawk Dawson. Now, I should probably, by the way, be checking the backs of these because I'm sure that there's short prints and variations of this as well. But if I did that, it would take friggin' forever. So I'm not gonna. Uh, but that's a sweet card. How about that? How about a Mickey Mantle Home Run Heroes? Uh, also, number HH, so there's an insert set. So we have the Future Star insert set, the the home run, and what was the other one? You know it. I don't remember. I'm not going back. Big box. A lot of cards. Um, I think I heard today that the base set is 300 cards, which at first they were saying it was 350, and I think every card in the entire set has a mini parallel, which isn't always the case to be true. Um, Andrew Jones has a Yankee. Carl Yastrzemski is my mini. And John Gerland... John Garland on the Gypsy Quine. That pack is fat. I feel like that's fatter than most. And it is. Just a little bit. Can you see? Let's check out the fat pack. 
Some people call me fat pack. I don't like it at all. Chip Cyclone. Albert Pujols. Roger Maris. I like it so far. Scudero. Tall. Curtis Grandison. Cahill. Here's a lackey. No, oh, the, look at that. The extra was the checklist. Here's the dummy. Lackey's the mini. And Beltre is the home run hero. That's that home run hero set. Cruising right along on the Gypsy Queen. I gotta be close to about halfway done with this thing at this point. <clears throat> Maybe not. I don't know. There's Teixeira. That's my boy right there. For the PC. If you have any Teixeira, I will take it. That's a cool pose. Um, Halliday Schneider. Cal Ripken Jr. In motion. Jason Worth. Anderson. Jim Palmer. So this is numbered to, to they, they got them backwards, I guess, to protect the framing on the front. Pretty smart idea by Tops because those like masterpieces by Upper Deck would get busted up all the time. But that's a nine ninety nine, so I'm assuming it's going to be bronze, and it is. And that's a bronze Jim Palmer, Palmer parallel. Walter Johnson is my mini. Put my base here, my dummy here, and we have a great ones. That was the other set. Christy Matthews and great ones. So great ones, future stars, home run heroes. That's what we're looking at so far. On the gyp cyclone. There's the freak with his leg up somewhere near Washington. Josh Johnson. Kadire. Ricky Romero. Todd Helton. So big names. Legends. Tris Speaker in the house. In the proverbial card house. I'm sorry I said that. Raphael Fracal is my mini. Another thing, a dummy, and a Jimmy Fox home run hero. Jimmy Fox is kind of a badass, huh? Every time I see him, he's got like these cut-off jerseys with these huge arms that just look like they want to strangle somebody. That's awesome. Frank Robinson, Gypsy Quine. Dale Murphy. Kevin Euclid, David DeJesus. How are you guys doing? You seeing this all right? Is this the longest break ever? Phil Deadarm Hughes. Freddie Freeman rookie card mini. It's even got a little RC logo on it. And a red back. Again, I don't know anything about the back. I'm going to do some research after this. Nothing behind the dummy but base. Getting down to it. There's got to be only a few packs left. I'm hoping there's at least another hit or two in this product. Really should be an auto for this box. Um, I'm not going to tell you what I paid for it because... Uh, I want to see what the price goes up for, but they're going to be averaging between 130 and 150 a box. All right, here is our first black border. Oh, that's pretty nice. Does Zach Greinke black? And the black has a totally black back, which is awesome. Zach Greinke black. No numbers on it, but got to be a short print with the black back and border. Don't forget, folks, I still have the 10 card Johnny must finish the 10 card mini pack that we're gonna open up last to see if there's anything going on in there. I don't know if there's anything relic or auto on the minis. Usually those things come framed so I doubt they are but hopefully there's some short prints and some other cool stuff in there. Uh, there's a Babe Ruth base and that one is in a Yankee jersey. So from what I understand the, the mini is supposed to be the same so maybe that Red Sox is a short print or maybe there's a, a big version of the Red Sox. I guess we're gonna find out as we go. As we get a little deeper into it. Oh, that's nice. You know what? That's so funny. I was looking at this today online, and I was like, this would be, if I'm going to pull an auto, a pretty nice one to have just for the collection. Jose Batista, uh, on-card auto. Really pretty signature on that, too. So, looking at the hits so far, a Cano Relic and a, uh, and a Batista. Um, Batista auto. Pretty nice. I even got a, that's a good pack right there. Coming with a, a Posey Future Star. And I like the color, the blue. I hope you guys are picking it up. It's a little dark in here, but the bluish hue, if you will, on the uh, on the Future Star cards. It's my Uno. My Yankee Uno. No, I've never played Yankee Uno. Sometimes when you're like a fan, like a Yankee fan, you get things that you don't necessarily need. Like a cousin bought that for me. And I'm like, okay. I'm going to do it Yankee Uno. I mean, thank you for the Yankee Uno. I sound like an unappreciative bastard, don't I? Okay, uh, cruising along. All right, here it is. So that dummy, that's what it's there for, is to protect the copper or the bronze. 
or the brown or the orange, who knows? I, I, I can't keep up with it. But there's a Carl Yastrzemski version. The mini is uh, Ryan Kalish. And hidden back here is our great ones, Tom Seaver, in action. Pretty sweet. All right, I'm, I'm looking, you know what, let me, let's do it so you can see where we're at. Because you're watching this, you're like, when is this over? And I'll tell you right now, four packs, and another four packs, plus the one I'm about to, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, hold on one second. I took this out of the pack, okay? I have eight packs left. I just took this out and put it down, didn't look at it. It's got a Ty Cobb right there, and a mini slipping out. But that is the thickness of the card underneath. I have no idea what's in here that could be that fancy. Oh my god, is that real? Holy shit. Alright folks, I don't know what the count is on this, but we got a Gypsy Queen Jewel. There's actually a, I'm assuming, a fake ruby embedded Shira Valkrev Gypsy Queens. I'm sorry, I gotta read. Shira Valkrev, I guess she's some kind of an actual gypsy. Just received the top certified relic card of Shira of Valkrev from 2011. So it's, a, it's not numbered. Is this a monster or is this a gimmick? Either way, it's different. And it may not be a Diamond Tops card, but it is a fake ruby of Shira. Not even like He-Man Shira, but of... Shira, who kind of looks like my mom, Shira. Wow, that really looks like my mom. I wish you guys knew my mom. You would totally agree. Don't say you do, funny pet pricks. All right, uh, Shira Relic Card. So our hits so far are... Uh, wow. Our hits so far are the Cano, the Batista Auto, and the um, the super thick Shira card. I don't know. Uh, Mickey Mantle, Stan Musial. Wow, it's kind of cool. I was hoping there was going to be something like super dope in that. I don't know. Maybe those cards are worth money and that is a card. But I was really... Um, Strasburg, me. Come on back to us, Strasburg. Future Star Alonzo. Um, I, that was weird. I don't know if I'm excited or not. I, I think I might be because it's different. But I was hoping for like a bat knot or something. I mean, that thing was thick. I got to assume at this point that I am all out of hits, but I guess we're going to find out. I mean, one more auto would make the box worth it. Maybe that's an extra hit, but now I'm getting greedy. There's Cano, Busta Posey. So Busta Posey has a, uh, a regular version card and then a Future Stars. You can't say the same about Ty Cobb. Uh, Dale Murphy. So what is that, four or five bronze at this point? Um, I guess I'm hitting the average. Just to sign Frank Robinson, the great ones. Six packs left. Thanks for bearing with me. I got held up by that card of my mom. Really threw me off for a while there. Derek Jeter. That Latos Tulowitzki. And again, guys, I'm not checking the backs of these things. I should be. Um, oh, we have another Gypsy Queen. All right, so this is cool. So this is what's going on here. There's these Gypsy Queen inserts of chicks this is Lavisha Lavisha cars and I guess they have basic cards in the set and then every once in a while you can hit the the, the embedded uh, maybe I don't know that can't be a real ruby right what are rubies worth I can't be worth as much as diamonds home run heroes Roger Swansby five packs left what is going on with the Gypsy Queen today? Johan Santani. On the Gypsy Queen. I'm going to try to bust through. I'm going to bust through like Busta Rhymes. Mini. Ian Kennedy's the back card. Four packs left. Who knows if there's a hit. If there... I, I would think there should be at least another relic. That puts it up around and get there on the two... Relics, one auto per box, but maybe I got my relic. Jabba from the back, Buster Posey Mini, uh, Jason Hayward on the Future Stars. 
we saw a regular version of him as well. Don't forget, we still have the mini top loader box, which if you're just buying packs, you're probably not getting that pack. Seems like a cool one to have. McCutcheon, Ryan Howard, Hanley, Bernie Williams. Nice. Bernie. Burn, baby, burn. John Lester with another orangey chrome, bronzish. Brooks Robinson on the Great Ones. Beltre on the mini. Two regular packs. One mini pack left. Longest box break ever. I'm cruising right along. This one's got. Alright, this one's got a hit in it too. So it's going to have a, a framed mini. I could feel it. Frank, Frank Robinson, Duke Schneider, Ryan Zimmerman. Here it comes, folks. Brad Lidge and a Matt. Kemp. So that's, there's your Allen and Ginter type hit. Uh, no dummy in that one. Matt Kemp jersey. It's not numbered on the back. It's a framed mini relic. And that's kind of the hits I was expecting. So to get a nice on card, and then I guess the uh, the out of, the not on card, Cano, was pretty, uh, pretty sweet too. Last pack in it, I can only assume that I got all my hits out of here, which I guess I'm happy about. Again, I think it's going to be the two relic, the one auto. Makes sense. And then the bonus stuff. Uh, Hornsby, Mike Stanton, Dallas Braden, Sean Figgins, Sizemore, and Moreland. I don't know who that is. Mitch Moreland. Hey, Mitch. Lots of minis. Let's do it. Mini box. Ten of them in here. Okay, what do we got? Barton, Ian Kinsler, Avilis, Jimmy Rollins, Drew Stubbs, uh, Will Venable, a great one. So every parallel has a mini too? So the great ones have minis. And there's your Walter Johnson, Trish Speaker. Is the home run hero. Mike Stanton is the future star mini, so I get one of each type of insert mini, Robin Yao. So, folks, here's what we're looking at. A ton of minis. There's all my base. The hits, quickly, again. The Matt Kemp. All of these extras, the, uh, the, the bronze or the chrome, if you will. The Bautista. Auto, not bad. Um, the Robbie Cano on the wood bat piece, and then we have the big one, if you will, the Gypsy Queen Ruby card. Very interesting. Thank you guys for checking out Yanks and Beans. Hit me up if you're interested in anything, or if you just want to talk to me. And seriously, any jokes about my mother, I will come to your house. I will find you. And while I'm there, maybe we'll trade some cards. What do you think? Later.